Hello everyone, in this video, I will show you our new product. You can see this is King Kony B16. So we have designed this new version instead of this B16M. You can see this is B16M and this is B16. So these two modules almost the same size and installed for the ding wheel, but this is for most feet output and this is a uh, driver by the relay, relay output. So we can also use design by ESP32 S3, so that can use by ESP Home for Home Assistant, and also support the KCS V3 firmware uh, for powerful function for auto discovery for MQTT, and uh, also you can use by your Arduino source code and uh, write code by ESP IDF. So uh, because this size is very small, because it have 16 channel relay, we have designed three. PCBs inside of this box, so let the space and it become smaller and smaller. So in this video, I will show you this uh, interface in details and look at the hardware design details and the software KCS running on the B16. Okay, let's look at the hardware firstly. Uh, you can see uh, this is the B16. You can see uh, in front and this is the back. Uh, this is SD card because SD card will save the logo file when the relay is turn on and turn off and this support install on the ding wheel. So if you install in your power distribution box, you can see uh, this will be easy to fix it. Just install by this way. And you can see uh, this is B16M, you can see uh, B16M. But we have designed this B16 And you can see, almost the same size. And the, this one, you can see, this one. And this one, you can see, almost the same. So we have spent many months have designed this structure of the PCB. Later I will show you in my computer the PCB design details. So this is the B16M and this is B16. They are all functions as seen as this B16M, but this is just a relay version. So you can see uh, uh, this interface details. And this one, you can see that have 16 channel digital input. The digital input, 16 channel, and uh, for one, uh, 0 volt uh, to 12 volt, just uh, the true or false uh, for the digital input, a uh, max support 12 volt. And IS485, uh, that's the part of the motor bus uh, by this terminal. And this you can see the analog input. The analog input, two channel is 4 to 20 milliampere, and the two channel is 5 to 0 to 5 volt. So this for voltage and this for current, uh, for different analog sensor. And this is a free GPL you can use uh, for yourself, uh, such as the temperature sensor, humidity sensor. And other device, we will update the new KCS firmware for uh, support more device I just connect with the free GPL. And the power is 12 volt, DC 12 volt at these two points. And uh, you can see uh, this have a Tuya, and this is power LED, this is Tuya LED, and this is Tuya reset button. Just uh, you can configure the Tuya, press this button for reset. And this have a menu control button. So if the control is broken, if the software is broken, you can also use this menu control button to turn on and turn off the 16 channel relay output. Because this menu control button work without software. You can see the menu control switch just work without any software, any firmware, without any network, just work locally. This it connect, connect with the relay directly. So you can use this menu control button in any time. And this relay output, uh, this is COM and normal open. Every channel have two terminal for COM and normal open. And this one you can see this have a I square C, I square C extender. So you can uh, extend the I square C sensor, temperature sensor, such as SHT30 sensor. And also you can see this have a free GPL. Uh, the free GPL uh, without power up 
resistant. And this GPL have a pull-up resistance on the PCB. So this have a different, but the KCS V3 will support add pull-up resistance by the software option. So this can work with Kinkone G1. For example, if you want to add this Kinkone G1 for this module uh, to send short message or make a voice call, you just let this toolbar and let this GPL connect it directly. So the RXT connect with the G1 and the TXT connect with the G1. So these two cables have connected together so that this B16 will support the SMS and the voice call. Uh, so this is for the G1, just use the SIM card. You can connect with the SIM card at here. And this is a SIM card uh, used by mobile phone SIM card. And the use, this is SD card, so this have a different functions. And here you can see that have a two button just for ESP32 uh, download and reset. Just a two button for ESP32 S3. Uh, it's a USB-C cable to download the firmware. This have connect with the ESP32 S3 USB part directly. And this part also made by ESP32 S3. And N16R8 uh, have a big PS RAM, and this is the Ethernet. Okay, uh, you can see this is the box uh, B16M. Now I will connect with my power supply. Just uh, connect with the DC 12 volt power supply. I will show you how it works. So I just connect with this cable with the 12 volt. And this time you can see only have connected with the power. And you can see I connect with the 12 volts. So you can see this menu country button can work immediately. So this without any software because you can see no network and no Wi-Fi. I'm not installed the Wi-Fi antenna. You can see also the part is work. So this will be all on. And this, uh, you can see the display have shown the Wi Fi IP address and the internet, uh, the Tuya, uh, also with support Tuya application. If you want to install the Wi Fi antenna, you can just connect it this way. But also, you can uh, install an external Wi Fi antenna. Just if you install your power distribution box, you can install outside the box. And now I will connect with my Ethernet cable. Okay. And uh, with format that used by DHCP. You can see the Tuya is online. You can see the Ethernet IP address have displayed at here. We can use this IP address to log in by web browser in compute. Okay, let's back to my compute and I will show you the PCB structure and the, how it works with the KCS V3. And the first you can see, this is our PCB design. We have spent many months to reduce the size. And you can see uh, this here our relay. And this is the main board, the motherboard. And you can see this, we have designed this ESP32 CPU core board. This is a new a core board for Tuya module and for the ESP32 S3. And this is extend board just for menu control button and for the display. So this B16M have consist with the three PCBs inside. The first one, we can see the 3D mode. You can see uh, this is 3D mode. And this is back. You can see uh, two components. And this is relay. This relay also is used by 7 ampere and you can see this PCB design have used four layer not two layer so this time you can see the top layer and the bottom layer and the power and the ground so this will be very stable because the power and the ground used by different two layer and will have a good to reduce some different uh, bad signal button and the top and also we can see this B16 core board. This is a small core board so that if you replace CPU in future, just you can replace this small core board. So you can see uh, this also have four layer 
design, top layer and the bottom layer and the power and the ground. And we can see the 3D mode. You can see this is ESP32S3 and this is Tuya. And also we can see the back. You can see uh, this have a back. And this part, this small part, installed on the motherboard uh, for B16M. And the top part, you can see that is a keyboard. So you can see uh, the 3D mode. That is a display and uh, two yard reset button and menu country button and SD card. The SD card you can insert uh, SD card that uh, when and what time the relay is on and the relay is closed. So off. So that all will save to the TXT file on the SD card. And this is back. This is back. Okay, so this is a uh, three board and let the size uh, become very small. So the size we have designed as seen as this B16M. So this is very small for the relief version. Okay, let's look at how it works in KCS V3. And you can see in our phone, you can download the KCS V3 and have a B16, B16 version you can download. And also you can you can see you can download the B16 document in our phone, the Arduino source code and the ESP home YAML file and the B16 IOP defined for ESP32. Okay, we can launch it. Uh, this is the home page. Uh, we can launch it and the B16 you can see. Uh, the firmware version and the date time and uh, some different functions all have the new firmware updates will have the new functions index and input you can invert your logical and the output you can see the different delay time uh, for the and the interlock function for different relay output used for motor or used for cotton and let two relay count turn on at the same time to protect the motor. And the sensor you can also can we have some free GPL you can choose different sensor at this list. And if you can choose DH DS18B20 or DH211, DH22 by GPL. If you want connect with I square C SHT30 temperature sensor, also just connect the extend uh, terminal. And also you can see the TS King Kone TS that is made for S485, and you can see uh, this is a tiny sensor, tiny S485 sensor. You can connect with more than 200 TS sensor at one bus. So this will be very powerful. And in this web page, you can see Max Part 32 sensor. You can use in one KCS web page. And this is the monitor. As the monitor, you can see the different protocol state will show at here, and the analog input at here. Two channel is current, and the two channel is voltage. And this is sensor. If you have configured a different sensor, that will show the list at here, the value, and the digital input and the digital output. You can see I can turn on relay and then turn off relay, turn on relay and turn off relay. Also, you can rename. You can see. You can just double click, you can rename uh, the every channel of relay. And this you can see the if TDT, uh, you can define uh, what if addition condition, uh, digital input or analog input or temperature or timer or receive a short message or receive a call. Then you can define your action for turn on or turn off relay and get a delay time and uh, output a customized protocol and output a short message or output make a voice call. So this is a powerful function of FTDT. And in the network, you can see the new functions. Uh, you can use the GSM uh, just to define the different GX pin and IX pin so that you can connect with the G1, uh, extend the 4G module, let your B16 can remote control by short message. OK, this is GSM. And the protocol, you can also see some new functions uh, support 
MQTT because this support auto discovery by MQTT in Home Assistant uh, with you any zero, without any config, just zero config. Also, you can enable King County Cloud so that you can use King County uh, Cloud uh, remote control by web page, a web browser in your mobile phone or in your Microsoft computer or in your Apple Macintosh a web browser is okay, no problem. And MQTT protocol and HTTP and TCP and UDP and IS-485 mode bus all can call the HA protocol that is the IS-485 uh, adapt for the switch but and the customer size protocol you can see we have also you can define what uh, what uh, protocol you you will use uh, just the TCP UDP IS-485 HTTP that is for command you can output uh, the different customer size protocol and also support the home kit directly if you want to define and enable the input you just click check these options uh, enable four channel or enable five channel or enable six channel just uh, write your name that will be displayed on apple HomeKit application uh, also you can define the output and the dac uh, no DAC, I uh, just uh, have ADC that for analog input for HomeKit sensor use. And also support in integrate to Luxon system. You can see in you can integrate to Luxon mini server by this different UDP command and uh, just let it work as a UDP client or UDP server and work with your mini server uh, by Luxon system. So this is the B16 controller work with the KCS V3 and also you can download the firmware by ESP home because we already have the YAML file at here you, you can just download and directly to use and also you can use the Tuya mobile phone application remote country by internet uh, no problem because our controller the Tuya mobile phone application and the home assistant will work at the same time so this is a powerful 16 channel controller and used for Ding Liu so if you have any questions, you can leave a message to us. Uh, thanks for watching.